Hello viewers, welcome to Expert I Dubai. We have with us our expert, Ashirwad, how are you today? I'm very good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Ashirwad, um, I have this question. Uh, two years ago, 2021, for Expert I Dubai, you had shot a video. Yes. Where you had predicted the upward swing in the market back then of townhouses and villas. You predicted this, which we all could not see. How did that come about? So <clears throat> I would not call it entirely a prediction. It was something that was based on what I was uh, feeling from the reactions of the people that mm. were watching Dubai. So if you remember in 2021, at mm. around the time that we had shot that video, mm. we were just coming out of COVID. Yes. And most of the world was still under lockdown. Yes. And Dubai had opened the lockdown. It had demonstrated to the world how good it can handle the COVID period. And in this crisis of pandemic, I think the Dubai brand has even become stronger. Uh -huh. So uh, Dubai has uh, demonstrated, I would not say only portrayed, demonstrated that they can manage crisis situations and they can always come out stronger uh, in any kind of crisis. So we had started yes. receiving calls from our uh, friends, families, extended uh, right. clients from Europe, from India yes. about, you know, inquiring about how, what it costs to live in Dubai. How do you buy a property in Dubai? Mm -hmm. Can we move to Dubai? Yes. And those questions were coming from business people. Mm -hmm. And it kind of, um, you know, it was so consistent across the geographies. Yeah. that It felt that a lot of people have the aspiration to move to Dubai. Is your 10 million cash offer on the villa uh, still still okay? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, I need to be there because the... Okay. Very good. Being in Dubai market for around 18 years now, yeah. uh, in the real estate market, uh, we know what kind of momentum can actually impact the market. Yeah. And with that many people inquiring, it was becoming more and more obvious uh, that this kind of interest into Dubai mm. is going to definitely catapult this market upwards. Uh, mm. So it is essentially a mathematical uh, feeling that had developed, mm. which uh, felt like that everybody is asking. Mm. Some people are already investing. Mm. And now the amount of people which are asking now, mm. if, they, if, if, a, if a fraction of that invests, mm what that can do to a small market uh, right. like Dubai. Yeah. So essentially that was the feeling. And the upward trend had a little bit started mm -hmm. at the time that we had shot that video. Right. And it just felt like that this is the turnaround. And then it was, it was uh, what I just spoke my heart about what I was seeing happen. Um, you know, just uh, the action was remaining. The intention from people had already come. And it has all rung so true. So now the question is, what do you see in the market now going forward? And what makes you see it the way you see it? Okay, so now that's a tough one because now you're expecting me to predict the market, which I am no predictor. But uh, there are, again, certain signs that I could say are visible. Uh, and we will see if it plays out like that. Um, I feel the market has has been on an upward trend for a while now. Mm -hmm. It's been almost two, two and a half years. Yes. Now we are on a very, very strong upward trend. Yes. I believe in this upward trend even now because people are moving into Dubai okay. with their families, with their bases. And these people who are moving are business people. Right. So if you see last year, the maximum number of millionaires mm -hmm. have uh, moved to Dubai. Yes. Uh, and there's a transition of millionaires which has happened from across the world to Dubai. Right. And uh, these millionaires don't come with their millions. They also come with their businesses. Yes. Because they are habitual entrepreneurs, right? Yes. So they will definitely go in for creating office for themselves. Yes. Uh, which will create employment for other job categories. Yes. Which will then in turn get the job class or the employee class in yes. Dubai. Yes. So with that trend, you can easily predict that the commercial is going to take a very big mm. demand. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And I don't see a supply of commercial in the market. Mm-hmm. So last six months, I've been telling people already yes. that commercial is an insurance to this market. Yeah. Even if everything else does not uh, continue the growth, yeah. commercial has a long way to catch up. Right. And you cannot bring commercial into the market within you know, six months. Six months, it, yes. It takes two years to three years. Sure. And I do not even see any developer planning big commercial. Mm. So I see this entire gap between the demand and the supply of commercial. And I feel that the next two years is all about commercial for the buy. And we're already seeing that in the prices, the way the commercial prices, the sell price, sale prices and the rent prices are going up. Yes. In the last and, few months. Correct. And the thing is that this demand catching up to supply, yeah. but there is no supply Yes. And the demand seems to be going, going to be up. only increasing. Yes. And I think even the apartments, which is not so initially, we saw a lot of villas and townhouses and larger ticket size. Right. The luxury section of the market go up. Yeah. But I think the non-luxury segment of the market yeah. uh, will also follow suit mm-hmm. because now once you have the offices and the employees, they need basic uh, living and the rents of the apartments or buying of the apartments is still to catch up to the same price trend that we have seen. So <clears throat> if I was to say something about the market going forward, I will say that maybe the luxury will settle down a little bit mm-hmm. because there's a lot of luxury being planned and a lot of luxury supply being um, you know, predicted to be coming in the market. Mm-hmm. And the demand has to cool off because already the demand for that has been satiated. Okay. But commercial is a big gap Mm. and apartment buildings in suburban areas is the way I think this market will hold up for the Mm. next two years. Apartment buildings. Yes. Suburban apartment buildings where it's like cheaper, cheaper housing, uh, you know, medium to low uh, housing categories. Interesting. One more question that came to my mind. Um, What do you think about the, the new visa changes that have been in the in the offing in last uh, couple of years how do you see that impacting the market right so if you go back again to my season one video yeah i said that the government yes usually acts as a fuel to the fire right and we have seen the fire beginning yeah, yeah. and the fuel is the policies of the government yes to support that growth correct and i think this is in line with that mm. and dubai announcing golden visa mm. investor visas to the extent of some passports being issued to people yes. who have contributed to the Dubai economy and society yes. for a longer uh, period of time yes. uh, is a very, very positive sign. And, you know, government knows exactly how to sustain this growth. And that's exactly what they are doing. And I think that's brilliant. That gives stability to all the investment that has come in. That gives assurance to these big business people who are coming in there that they can actually make this their home. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a very, very positive sign. It was very necessary. Without those steps, mm-hmm. um, the growth could have been felt uh, a bit temporary mm-hmm. uh, because it's easy to come into Dubai and easy to go. And now I think it's easy to come to Dubai, but not so easy to go because you have a lot of stability yes. with all these visas and all these uh, extra perks. Also ownership of your business Mm -hmm. so now you can own your business in most of the categories 100 Mm percent and that was keeping a lot of people who do not understand dubai coming into dubai new Mm -hmm. a little bit wary of how it will be if they have a partner who's a local and i think the government has removed that Mm -hmm. and bringing an emiratization to kind of uh set it off but that's a better move because at least i own my business fully Mm -hmm. and that's the comfort the businessmen the international mm. businessmen want to, mm. to be able to move to Dubai. Right, and right. That, that is an excellent move by the government. Yes, I remember you saying uh, early on that Dubai is hot money. People bring a lot of money here and the money goes that easily. But that seems to have changed in the last decade. Yes. You know, uh, people bring their money in and then they choose to stay because of the... Way More so in the last two and a half years post-COVID actually. Yes. And when these uh, policies by the government about golden visa mm. and full ownership have come into play Mm. this has changed the game for Dubai Mm. 